I'm currently uh, almost done with my laundry and uh, I just pulled out my phone to well, give my thoughts on something that's been, well, that's being neglected by other um, social media enthusiasts, all right? Uh, most people who are on social media just keep on, just post, 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 um, check, check, check. They check their accounts and they post. You know, if you want to get, if you want to gain more um, trust online, if you want to gain followers online for that matter, sometimes you just have to, you just have to engage. Engage your current followers. Engage, engage the platform, right, as a whole, right? No matter, no matter what, uh, no matter how many followers you got, no matter how many, how many subscribers you got, right? Take me for example. I'm active on YouTube every week, uh, Saturdays and Sundays, weekends, okay? basically weekends. And I don't just watch videos. I don't just uh, save them to my playlist. I don't just even, I don't even just download them. So I don't just do that. I engage. If I uh, if I like a video, I don't just like. I comment. Okay, uh, give my thoughts on give my thoughts on that video, and and sometimes I share, I share that video to to my other platforms. All right. The real key to growth, okay. From my eyes, the real key to growth is engagement. All right. Posts don't matter. Likes don't even matter. It's the engagement. It's the engagements that count. It's the engagements that you should um, that you should keep an eye on. The comments, the uh, not just uh, not just the views on your post, okay? Whether it be uh, whether, whether that be video or photo, it's the engagements that count. All right. That's why it's called social media. All right. The en engagements um, keep the conversation up engagements form friendships offline all right offline offline all right offline there's a reason why i said it three times because that's important okay and there well the engagements sometimes make you money these days it's really hard to get someone's email address all right because it is unethical to get their phone number so the least you can do is try to get their email address for well explain it to them you have to explain it to them why engage engage your current audience All right so the key here YouTube is engage 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 I just uh, decided to make this entry early in the morning because well, I'm, I'm outside the house and I was um, supposed to pay the water bill. Pero, haba ng pile. Holy shit. Right? The lines are, well, painfully long. I'm gonna tell you why it's painfully long. They only have one cashier to accommodate the, the bill payments. Instead of, um, instead of at least two, or dedicating one for seniors and PWDs, they only have one. Our water service provider is mismanaged. Not having enough people to accommodate paying customers is a sign of mismanagement. Alright, remember that Twitter. If you don't have um what's called this the means, okay, the means to accommodate the customers that matter the most. You're mismanaging your business, okay? Because well, paying customers are the most loyal, okay? They are 
uh, they are the only customers that matter. Even in network marketing, either in either in running your own home-based business. Okay, Twitter. Not having enough cashiers is a sign of mismanagement. Our water service provider is the is the best example. This morning, I um, I got wind of Gary Vaynerchuk's photo post. Made me go back to the time that uh, I um, saturated a whole commercial apartment building. Okay. It was a seven door. It was a seven door building. That was some. That, that was uh, near the Pasay Makati board. The Pasay Makati border, right? I haven't had a single um, a single confirmed lead to <laughs> to to call it a day, right? So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's when I got a lead. Okay, so we had we had a uh, we had an agreement that I'm going to come back to that after I think two weeks. I gave me I forgot the specific day and time, but he actually promised me that he's going to get a computer from from the company I worked for back then. That was in uh, that was in 2001. Uh, I was I was a door-to-door -door salesman for a company that is um, assembling uh, assembling customized computers. They had their office in Makati, in near uh, walking distance from Makati Med. So I I went back to my supervisor and I said, "Wala, uh, wala sir, wala po ako na benta but I had uh, a lead." And for appoint for appointment Ulisha next uh and in, in those after two weeks. So sabi niya sa akin, Sige, good job. And uh tumo pa kaso sa panyo ha, follow up on that deed. It might uh, it might make it might give you your it might give you your very first sale. But enough of that. <clears throat> what um what made me cite that as an example because the following day uh, he made my experience. He made my experience as an example to our hotels. I say every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, the whole the whole sales the whole sales group uh, gathers uh, gathers for a meeting called the hotels. So we share experiences, we learn, and we take notes. We learn from them. So in this particular hotel, he made my experience. He made my uh, he made the previous day experience uh, of mine. As an example to the group he called it going the extra mile so fast forward to 2020 going back to Gary V's post I think that experience of mine was is a fine example of of his uh, of, it, of that photo post of his you know don't be ashamed to to go the extra mile when it comes to your business your your sales career or, or even if, if, if you're regularly employed, all right? Because, well, going the extra mile, all right? Going the extra mile ups your value. Ups your value as uh, a person, first and foremost, and as a professional. And, well, of course, it ups your worth in, uh, if you're employed in the workplace, and in the selling profession or network marketing or in or in the world of home based entrepreneurship in the marketplace okay people who go the extra mile make the most money if if they don't make the most money they they make their money real fast faster than anybody you know what eventually i uh, i was able to close that the, the one I gave the extra mile on, that seven-door apartment, the last door, that actually gave me a sale. Although not, um, not, the, uh, not the kind of sale I was, uh, I, was, I was gunning for. But a sale is a sale. So celebrate the small victories. And uh, the bad thing about it for my, for my, co for my, for my co-workers back then, up to that point, they still haven't gotten a sale. 
So I was actually, I was actually um, the second one that month to make his first sale. I was actually the second one. So yeah, I, I was. For me, wow, well, achievement yun. <laughs> it's an achievement, okay? So iba na yung iba na yung ane. Uh, iba na yung mga taong nag go for the extra mile, right? So that's proof again that. If you go the extra mile, you'll make mo- you can make money faster than anyone else. You're getting to the money. You're getting to uh, the finish line of uh, the finish line of money uh, faster than anyone else. Gary V's photo post is very true. Okay, it's better to go the extra mile than to regret not pushing your limits. Basically, that's the uh, that's the essence of his photo post, and my prime example is my own experience. That's a lesson. That's a lesson you LinkedIn should take to heart. Recently, I unfollowed a uh, an, an Instagram model that uh, that always insisted on chatting uh, on chatting with her through a uh, paid chat site. So, well, yung parati sinasabi niya on all her posts and stories. There's a reason why I unfollowed her because I don't uh, I don't agree anymore with that move of hers. Kumbaga, lahat ng lahat ng means of contact sa kanya may bayad. <laughs> ano ba yan? Chat na lang ipagkakait eh, mo pa sa mga sa mga followers mo. I don't, uh, I don't charge for chat. If someone wants to, someone wants to, um, wants to DM me on Instagram or DM me on Twitter, inaakomodate ko. Inaakomodate ko. Right? I don't, I don't, I don't charge for, I don't charge for a, uh, for a conversation with a, with a follower. Diba? It's, it's impractical. Okay? Magmumukha na akong, magmumukha na akong mukhang pere. I, I'm not like that. Okay. I would I would even look needy for uh, uh, for for all that's worth. Charging for chat is what well, for me it lowers your value in the marketplace. Now I don't care if you have thousands of Instagram followers or or tons of YouTube subscribers. If you if you have such a policy probably okay more often than not no no established brand might might approach you might approach you to offer something Wala. you you have proverbially shut yourself out from potential from, from potential uh, good brand deals or better business relationships kasi lahat ng Lahat ng galaw mo may, ano, may bayad dapat eh. You know what? You have to you have to make you have to give some room for fans to move in. Okay? Charging for chat doesn't do doesn't do the thing. Basically. It doesn't do the thing. So charging for chat well I'm gonna say, I'm going to say it uh, more bluntly. Charging for chat makes you cheap. You heard me. It uh, it makes you look needy, if not greedy. All right, but needy, yes. Okay, Char- again, charging for chat makes you cheap. Take that as a power tip, Instagram. All right. I'd like to share with you, uh, to everybody here, who's uh, well, uh, thinking of boosting their followers or subscribers. You know what? Things like uh, follow for follow, sub for sub. Yeah, that is both um, both unethical and well, for uh, for follow for follow particularly, that's illegal. Okay. 
any algorithm can detect that right now and you can have your account uh, banned permanently but there's one way <clears throat> but there is one way around it that uh, uh, that's been that has been that that has worked for me in uh, just recently actually it is the one thing you should um, you should uh, ethically do to to boost your to boost your followers okay? that's and mind you this is organic okay this is uh, this is considered as organic the the way i'm talking about is sponsoring giveaways yep you heard me normally uh, when someone organizes a giveaway promo it this has it has the following conditions one of course you have to follow or subscribe to that account and every account that account follows or subscribes to so that's your that's your qualification you must uh, also you sometimes you have you have to give them proof that you've followed all of those accounts and they also check so well <laughs> understood another good thing about it is if so if you if you unfollow that uh, the giveaway account and all those and all those accounts you've recently followed you're no longer eligible for the next giveaway okay, you can't join that anymore so take your take your pick right you want you want to join those giveaways you just have to you just have to put up with those accounts but uh, oh sorry and another thing you can actually limit the number of your followers to your own locality or your country okay guaranteed yan so i intend to sponsor another giveaway but um i'm still looking at my options right now the first one the first giveaway i i sponsored was it's uh was for a was for charity that's why i agreed right away it's for charity and well my YouTube subscribers and Instagram followers got boosted significantly. All right, that's all I can say. Sig significantly. Don't get me wrong. Sponsoring giveaways is not uh, outright sub for sub or follow for follow. No. You are actually exchanging. Uh, you're actually oh, not exchanging. Incentivizing people to follow you. Okay. You you don't just you don't just tell everybody that to, to follow well, follow me subscribe to my channel or nope none of that you are incentivizing the um, uh, your need to follow their 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 need to follow now if you, if they don't follow you or subscribe to your channel they will probably not be entered in the giveaway whose loss is it yours no nope. <laughs> it's their loss okay. So, sponsoring giveaways is not uh, is not directly sub for sub or follow for follow. It is still within uh, legal and ethical limits. Okay, it's still within those bounds. So you're safe. The algorithms, uh, particularly of Instagram and YouTube, will not take that as an act of war and uh, ban you right away. No, nope. because you are incentivizing it you're in a way incentivizing the need to follow you okay so if you follow so the giveaway account says follow these accounts if not you can't join the raffle so so again TikTok sponsoring giveaways is the way to go when it comes to boosting uh, boosting followers or subscribers okay it's the legal and ethical way to go these days so if you're not sponsoring giveaways you don't have an online business or brand. Simple as that. If you duly, if you truly care about your brand or business, sponsor giveaways. Okay, it's also a way of paying it forward to your current followers. If you ask me, so give back to the give back to your current followers. Sponsor giveaways. In return, you will have new followers or subscribers quite a fair deal so again tiktok 
sponsoring giveaways is the way to go when it comes to boosting follow your followers or subscribers. Fair deal, if you ask me. I'd like to share with you Snapchat this. Something I made. It says, Warning. Limited reading. Okay. This is a face shield. Until recently, the, um, the national government is now requiring uh, everybody to wear face shields. Okay. Just this morning, I wasn't allowed in, uh, in, in a major grocery store here just to fill up my, uh, just to send money through GCash. Okay. I wasn't even allowed to enter because I didn't have a face shield. Although I had a face mask on and sunglasses. Yung pang welding na sunglasses ang binili ko kasi nun. Also, I tried uh, entering the hardware store uh, na malapit. I wasn't even allowed to enter also because I didn't have a face shield. It is okay to wear both a face shield and a face mask if you're a medical frontliner. Because the risk of, um, of getting the getting getting SARS-CoV-2 or the, the the virus that causes COVID-19 is high kasi nakakasalamuha mo yung mga COVID-19 positive na pasyente that's that's a legit excuse to wear both okay you sh you should be as protected as possible but come on okay it's okay if you but if well if you're an ordinary citizen like me it's okay to wear either this or a face mask. Either way, you're protected. And most especially if you know you're healthy enough. To require everybody to wear both face masks and face shields, okay? You are playing with fire there. Why? Well, protectado ka nga sa COVID-19. Ano naman ang mapapadala sa iyo sa ospital? Suffocation. All right? Not all face shields, okay? Are are hospital grade. Okay? Ito ah, hindi hospital grade to eh. I am more protected if I wear a face mask and sunglasses. Okay? Yung palang protection eh. And I know I am healthy enough to counter to counter COVID-19. Okay, alam ko, kilala ko sarili kong pangangatawan. Now, to order everybody to wear both this and a face mask, you're playing with fire. Like I said a while ago, you're protected against COVID-19, but suffocation naman ang kalaban mo. Because, well, the heat will build up in your face. Guarantee dyan. Hindi nga, um, hindi nga makakapasok ang virus, pero yung init na magbibuild up sa mukha mo, that is more than enough for you to, ano ba to? <laughs> for you to, for you to potentially suffocate. Okay? Hospital din ang pagsak mo. If not, uh, if, not the, if not the nearest clinic. So what will it be? Okay? So what will it be? Face mask or face shield. Either way, if you ask me, you're fine. As long as you, as long as you have protective eyewear, okay. Kahit goggles man lang, okay na yon. At least yung balat mo, yung balat mo sa mukha, makakain nga parin. Even though naka, ngayon, naka face mask ka, okay, restricted the mouth and nose mo. Face shield ka ganon din. So, if you ask me, we should say no to wearing both face mask and shield. Either way, it's fine. Okay? Minimum health standards ang inahabol natin dito. Not the extreme health standards. Okay? I don't know about you, but I am saying no to wearing both face mask and shield. Kaya nga nakalagay sa face mask kung to, warning limited breathing. Okay? 
it's warning everybody that well I might suffocate legally required but we can all suffocate with this <laughs>